Yahoo YouTube, I'm Super Genki, and in today's video, we're gonna go over daily maintenance concepts. It's hard to be a passionate person because passion without structure encounters many obstacles. Everyone wants to play, everyone wants to be great, everyone wants to go out there and make something of their lives, but what people don't understand, and which is the biggest shortcoming of passionate individuals, the dreamers, people with the courage to go out there and really chase after what they want, is that they think that passion alone is enough. They think that the world can see what they're thinking inside of their head. I know this from experience, that the world does not see what I'm thinking up in here. But that shouldn't stop you. That shouldn't stop you from wanting to go outside and do what you know is right. That shouldn't stop you from chasing after what you want in your life. But what is gonna stop you? It's something that I'm working through personally now that I've decided to take YouTube more seriously. Even though you may think that Super Genki has this giant ego, I do wanna learn. I wanna learn more than I wanna give into my ego. I'm gonna use the video I made before last as an example here. Things that piss positive thinkers off. I thought it was a great concept, a great message to give out to people. However, the message was lost in the presentation. That's a problem that most passionate individuals encounter in the beginning. Thinking that passion alone is enough. That your unrefined voice, the message you're trying to give, who you are as an individual is enough to reach out to others. If it was, believe me, a lot more people would be doing it. But that's where the reality of structure comes in. And that's why daily maintenance whether you see it as important or not, is essential to ensure that you can keep steadily moving in the right direction of growth. Now, Super Genki looks at learning in terms of years, not months, not weeks, not days, years. How much do you learn in that one year? How much can you learn in that one year? This is great because it's called the destination. It always keeps you moving in the right direction. However, you're gonna get lost if you don't create structural goals, short-term goals to make sure that you meet your checkpoints along the way. That's something that was very difficult for me when I came back from Japan to America. After I was done with JET, I had all these ideas, I had all this passion, and then I just started working and started working really hard every single day, which led me to getting burnt out, losing the focus that I had when I was coming back to America. What's really helped me in recent times was the prospect of setting short-term goals. A short-term goal can come in the form of, say, getting 200 subscribers. In fact, that was the short-term goal that I set for myself before the year ends. And look at that, I reached my goal. But I don't want to stop there because I have another short-term goal that's coming up at the end of January, and that's reaching 500 subscribers. Do you see how it works? How the completion of a short-term goal is like getting to a checkpoint so that you know that you're making real progress rather than just feeling like you're making progress. It's something that has to be learned. It's not inherent. And I can tell you this from experience because it wasn't inherent for me. I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. I want you to learn from my journey so that when you go out into your own journey, you can apply the same concepts that I am. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you liked my content, don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. It would really help me out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.